Come, sit on your keyboard. I want to. I want to make an example. Okay. This is how thoughts are. So, what's your name? I can't hear you. So, his name is Jeremiah, and he's on the keyboard now. Now, if you don't touch the keyboard, can he play itself? Good. So, the keyboard is your brain. Are you there? The man on the keyboard are your thoughts. Your, your thoughts play your brain. You get that? Are you with me? Uh, I don't know. Jeremiah, have you ever seen a keyboard that has lost some keys? Or a keyboard that some keys are not working? Uh, I've seen people like that before in Brazil, you know, I told you about some guys in Brazil. There's a certain drug that if they take it, huh? any dustbin area where something is oozing out, the smell is terrible. That's, they'll feel like they'll be most at home in such places. You see, what has happened to him is that some notes on his keyboard are falling off. It doesn't matter how skillful you are huh? in playing. There are some sounds you cannot make because some notes are missing. Now, so see this guy. We have established that it is, in fact, it's a demonic situation. If Jeremiah should come to the keyboard and find the keyboard playing itself, Jeremiah knows that demons already have visited. So that, that's what happened to you when you have imposing thoughts. Because you are supposed to be in charge of your thoughts. So if you find a situation where your thoughts are going haywire and compelling you to submit to it, it means that you are suffering from a situation of oppression. Close the door to immorality in your thoughts that for me it is not an option. And it will be so. We were in a mall in one country, and my friend was saying, didn't you notice that that girl was liking you? I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Because he was not where? He was not in the door. There were many things that you will not notice. Because that's not how you think. He said, think on these things. A man that will bring his thoughts captive must be in charge of what? Training his thoughts. No, thy word. Have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you? You will need to study the word. You will need to meditate on the word. You will need to confess the word. You will need to memorize the word. You study, you meditate on it, you confess it, you memorize it. You study it, you meditate on it, you confess it. You do what? Memorize it. You study it. You meditate on it. You what? And then you what? Memorize it. It becomes your wisdom. You think through it. You process things by it. You know what you can do and what you cannot do. In the light of that which you have built into your thought frame. Train. Train 